Well, your dog wants you to take him for a walk. Trails are especially appealing. Meanwhile, Greenville County Animal Care needs support and fundraising to provide the services that it provides. So the solution is Tails and Trails 5K, and it's happening this Saturday at Conesty Park. We've got Paula Church here from Greenville County Animal Care, uh, along with, with Lizzie. Tell us a little bit about your friend, Lizzie. Um, well, Lizzie is, is one of those, I call her a real diamond in the rough. You know, she's got the best personality, lots of charm, great on a leash. Um, and, you know, she, she gets in a home, gets a little weight on her, you know, gets some good grooming. She's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love her. <laughs> and she's just kind of settling and getting comfortable but uh, you know she was found a street dog so we don't know well we're where she's been or how she's been living, but it, what's it, so sweet about her? Yeah, well, uh, you know, it, uh, clearly she had a home somewhere, you know, and that's mm -hmm. what we wonder. Somebody has put a lot of time into loving um, Sweet Lizzie, so yeah. you know, we just um, it, it's it's just you know why why is she why is she homeless? Th yeah. Those are the kind of things we can't figure out. Well, maybe <laughs> maybe Lizzie's new people are watching right now. Um, as for the event coming right up, whether you want to challenge yourself and really race the trails or just take a casual stroll, tails and trails is a very popular event. People are loving this. All the dog lovers come together and it's all it's all booked up, but paint the scene for the people that are going. Uh, what happens out there during the event? Well, it's a pet friendly 5K, so we do have prizes in a lot of different age categories for the runners. Um, we've got a good crowd lined up this year. We've also got a great vendor village. We've got the electric food truck is going to be there. All kinds of great vendors with lots of fun swags and give swag and giveaways. So um, it, it's it's going to be yeah. a lot of fun, a fun day. People look forward to this when they're even the, the post activities, post race activities you talk about. The Vendor Village awards and ceremonies, uh, entertainment. What it, what's your favorite part of uh, of the fun that it's going to be had out there? Uh, just seeing all the dogs. Yeah. I mean, it's hilarious when you see that many dogs together, uh, getting you know running on a trail. It's it's absolutely hilarious, and and the dogs are so fun. So many yeah. great different personalities and types, and it's great. That's what <laughs> we love about them too. And meanwhile, you know, a dog like Lizzie sitting here is on the list, right? You know the. Um, the registration is, is closed for the race, but there's always need. So at this point, anybody watching, whether they're in love with Lizzie or whether they uh, they just want to do something to help, you can always take the help. You need volunteers, you need donations. Tell us what's happening. We absolutely do need donations. And even though we filled um, all of our running spots, um, people can still donate. So mm -hmm. they can go to our website. There is a tab, a Tales and Trails tab. They can donate directly. That would be fantastic. We would really appreciate that. It is our biggest fundraiser of the year. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, really just coming in and adopting a dog. That's that's really helpful too. Um, so you're making it really easy to do. Exactly, exactly. We're doing um, Bissell Foundation. Um, we're granted with the, their Empty the Shelter program. So for the next two weeks, this week and next week, all pets at Greenville County Animal Care are fee waived. So yeah. And I think uh, it's interesting. <laughs> now everybody knows it, it's expensive to run this facility. The money raised makes a difference in the lives of the animals. The, where do the proceeds go and what are your, your greatest needs right now? What's happening this season? Well, one of the greatest needs for us is medical care. I think what a lot of people don't realize is that we're an open intake shelter. We take everything regardless of age or health, um, so behavior. And, um, and so, you know, our goal really, you know, in addition to finding great homes, getting these animals medically sound so that we can send them out into homes, um, we also have a lot of programs designed to help families keep their pet. If they're going through some kind of tri crisis, um, they can get help through our food bank. Um, mm -hmm. We offer all kinds of pet support services, and um, we want to keep families together, and certainly the family pet is part of the family. And, you know, Back to Lizzie one more time because you call her a diamond in the rough and you've got people that, uh, you know, they've, they've kind of wanted to adopt a dog. What happens when somebody finally brings an animal into their home? Maybe they didn't even have a pet before. Does it change their lives forever? Um, it, it can. <laughs> you know, I think if you're a pet lover, um, you know, it's, it's wonderful to have a pet around. And, um, you know, Lizzie, Lizzie is so wonderful. Of course, our adoption staff is going to help you introduce a new dog into a shelter. The shelter environment's stressful. Um, they need a few gotcha. days to decompress and get comfortable in their new home, and we're going to help you every step of the way. Excellent. Much of that help comes at the mm -hmm. Tales and Trails 5K mm -hmm. this Saturday. We'll put the information on screen. Uh, Conesty Park race time is 8.30, so if you're out in that area, uh, you'll... You'll know what all the excitement is about and, and reach out to, to help anytime and volunteer. Paula, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you.